1990, the late Sonny Chiba, who I don't think needs any introduction, made his directorial debut with a movie based on the Senkebutsu Brown Bear Incident of 1915, the worst bear attack in Japanese history. It's a truly harrowing, disturbing story, almost none of which is actually in Yellow Fangs, also known as remains, beautiful bodies, depending on where you are. It basically follows a village of bear hunters trying to track down a killer bear they call Red Spots, which has a thing for thoughts and won't eat anything other than women. The young woman's family is eaten and her mother gets dragged off into the nether, so she takes it upon herself to track down and hunt Red Spots like she's Mulan or some shit, while a young Hiroyuki Sonata keeps telling her women should stay in the kitchen. I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically it. But she's clearly a hardened warrior. Oh. And don't get me wrong, I love Haruki Sonata. Dude, he's badass. He's a badass actor. But his character in this just isn't interesting enough to warrant sitting through nearly two hours of him just chasing after a chick that he wants to bang. And unfortunately, for a movie based on a killer bear story, there's hardly any goddamn bear in this at all. I think the bear is in the movie for a combined total of maybe five minutes, while the movie's runtime is one hour 47 minutes, which is just... Mmm. And when the bear is on screen, it's a cross between real footage of a bear and a dude in a suit, which makes shit like this look hilarious. And that's not the tone Sonny was clearly going for here, because this movie takes itself super seriously. A lot of weird editing choices in here too. Random slow motion, freeze frames for no reason. This scene where the movie goes from a somber, quiet nature movie to suddenly turning it into Japanese X Games. <laughs> Pick a tone and stick to it, Jesus. This isn't one of your martial arts movies, Sonny. Even the soundtrack doesn't know what kind of movie this is trying to be. There's just so many moments of potential where they could have just, you know, gone for it and made it really entertaining. The scene where a festival gets interrupted by the bear dragging a dead woman through the middle of town could have been a great opportunity to have a bit of chaos and just go for that B-movie feel, you know? It's just so short-lived. There's like one scene, though, that I, I don't want to show it because it's kind of disturbing, where the bear gets into a fight with a husky and I'm... I'm pretty sure it's real footage. I don't know if the dog was actually hurt or not, but something tells me they didn't have a trained bear, so... I don't know. It's a fine adventure film, if I'm being honest. It's not terrible, it's nicely shot, it's atmospheric at times, but the problem for me is that the real story that this movie is so loosely based on would already make a great film in its own right, but instead the only similarity Sonny Chiba took from the real story was a bear in the time period. That's it. And I think even the Japanese audiences at the time thought so too, because this movie bombed so bad that it nearly tanked Sonny's career. He lost his mansion, his restaurant chain, his school, the Japan Action Club, and more, strictly because this movie did so poorly, and he put his money up front to produce it. So like, clearly it was a passion project for him, but I just don't understand why he didn't just stick to the original story. The Sen Kebutsu Brown Bear Incident is a story so tragic that it really deserves a proper film adaptation. Why it hasn't happened is beyond me. If you want to learn the true story, I've made a second channel dedicated to the horrors of real life where I cover the real events of 1915. I'll link to that at the end of the video.